we are on live stream now. I'm sorry. I feel like there's a hair on my arm. Everyone gets to see me grab for it. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Welcome everybody. Welcome to our video. Let's see. I'm trying to watch our chat. There's our chat. Okay. Let me know oh. if you can hear the guys outside talking. Okay. They're I working on their cars and, you know, this is what yeah. it's going to be like. <laughs> I don't hear anything right now, so. Because I have my but windows open because it's nice. My ears are a little clogged, so. Oh, okay. So. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to our Hurley's Hand Dyed uh, live video. It's been about two weeks and Bree is on already. Hi, Bree. Hi, Bree. Um, She's good. <laughs> Um, let's start by introducing ourselves. Um, I am Amber from Crafty Performers on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And there's Coco. Yeah, this is Coco. And I am Donna <laughs> from Crystal Skies Hand Dyed on Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook. And together we are Hurley's Hand Dyed. And hi, Chelsea. Chelsea's on too. Chelsea. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> if you guys can't hear it, I am um, catching a cold. So if I say what at all, it's because my ears keep clogging. <laughs> and Chelsea, uh, I dyed up a whole bunch of new worsted weights. <laughs> <laughs> Mom knows you like worsted. Yes. It's a good <laughs> way to do for you. Yes. Here's a, here's a sample. I know she likes the, the, the purples and the teals. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Um, okay. So it's been about two weeks. We want to talk about your two weeks first. Yes, this week, this two weeks. I don't know if I don't had my heater gone out last time and I had the appointment set up. No, because no, it was, we were talking about your stove last time. Right. Well, my heater went out, you guys. <laughs> and um, it, well, it didn't really go out, but it started making this squeak, squeak. And we thought, you know, they have a motor in there and we thought there was a belt inside squeaking. So we mm -hmm. had the guy come out and supposedly you should replace your heater every 10 to 15 years i didn't know that that seems awful low i mean awful we had our heaters forever in the houses i grew up in but anyway and mine hadn't been replaced since it was an original from mm -hmm. 1987 so 30 some years so they were really amazed at how much money i, I mean i think but to replace it when just put in the new old parts was like three thousand and to get a new one was seven thousand so I got a new one because I didn't want to fool with it, you know? And by the way, my stove's doing great. He also checked my stove out with the guy when he was out here. So <laughs> and he checked my water heater out. And I was going to get a new water heater this summer just because it's the original, but it's never leaked or anything. But that may be put off till the end of the summer at least. So, but did you know, I don't know if you'll have to on yours, your air conditioning because they put a new did i tell you this last night because they put a new water heater in i have to have he had, they had to get a permit from oh. the city of orem to put it in and i have to have an inspector come out from the city of oh. orem to make sure My, yeah you know. and i won't have to have that because ours he just put a new pipe in oh okay Okay. He didn't have to put a whole new unit in and he put freon in it um so that leads to my my two weeks um our AC unit in our brand new house was not working. Um, and we realized it about a month ago and we've been trying to get someone out here. Um, we did have someone come and look at it when we weren't here one day when we were at work and he said it looked fine. Um, but they came and tried to charge it on Wednesday because there was no Freon in it and you could hear it seeping out. <laughs> so they had to put a hole in our stucco outside opened it up and they found out that when they put the stucco up, they stapled through the pipe. So they had to come out yesterday. They came out and cut out the pipe and put new pipe in. And it is cool in here. Now we came home. Um, the guy came and he uh, charged it and he was working on it when we weren't here. And then Dave had to come while he charged it and then checked it. Um, and so by the time we got home at like four 30, it was cool in here. It was 70 degrees, which was awesome because it hasn't been that cool in months and that's how we figured it out we would turn the ac on and it would get hotter it'd be like 72 or 73 in here and we turn it on and we'd like three hours later it'd be 77 78 degrees so that's oh. a good thing that's it's working now and yeah, robin welcome and chelsea says she's got the head cold as well yeah. i'm just thankful four weeks of school <laughs> i only have to worry about this for four weeks and another exciting thing for me in the past two weeks is I got an early birthday present. 
Um, you, if you're in our Hurley's hand dyed group, I've posted some of the things I've made with it. Um, but I got a new 3d printer. Dave, uh, Dave and I have been looking at one that's like a brand new bamboo lab. It's a P one P it's so fast <laughs> compared to my two little workhorses over here. Um, the P one P, which is over here next to me right now, it is so fast. I can print, um, what's called a Benji, which is like a little boat in 22 minutes. Um, but yeah, so I've been, I'll show you some of the things later that I've made, um, that some of them are in my shop and some will be in my shop and some are just going to be in-person things. Um, hi, Laurel. Welcome. Good to hear. Hi. Good to see you. And yeah, that's my, that's yeah. my two weeks. And like I said, we have four weeks of school left. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Well, I woke up this morning and came out here and, you know, my son lives with me and he goes, Boy, have I had a morning. I says, what happened? He says, I flooded my bathroom. <laughs> he flushed the toilet and he used the toilet paper clogged, I guess. Oh. And he went out to, to sit outside and then he comes back in and he says, everything was wet. Thank God. I said, thank goodness that didn't happen when you went to work. And yeah. I went out with the kitchen all flooded. And yeah. so he, we had a plunger and he plunged it. It was just clogged, you know. Yeah. And then, But he was so good. He washed all the, he put all the, um, the rugs in the washer and wash them and yeah oh. yeah so yeah he's a boy <laughs> well you know things happen it's just that way but I was so thankful he was home because like mm -hmm. I said uh, he goes to work at four in the morning and I don't get up till eight so that would have been four hours of water pouring yeah so it's that just like awesome. you guys didn't you guys have your washer went uh, <laughs> the other house yes um, in yeah, in our house that we bought in Blackfoot, um, the 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 pipe wasn't all the way in the washer or the drain pulled out of the wall where it was supposed to drain to, and then it flooded. But it didn't. Dave took care of it. It didn't really hurt anything. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I get that. That sucks. But yeah. But thank goodness he caught it right away. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy to see all y'all on here and talking with us. Yeah. Um, Laurel can't stay. She's going to just pop it in for a second and then go into lunch. So for as long as you're here, welcome. <laughs> so. All right. Anyway, that's my week. I did a bunch of, I did a bunch of what I call just fun yarn dyeing. I, um, I didn't write recipes down. I just dyed yarn. And so everything I'll be showing today. Plus, I did 23 of them, 23. Well, six of those were my nebula, though. I was out of nebula. So I put nebula in every color, uh, every one of my bases in. Plus, what does that make it? 18, 17 other colorways. So, and they're just one-offs, you know? I mean, well, two-offs. There's two of them. But once they're gone, they're gone. But they were just fun not to have to think about colors. What I did is I, I took colorways out. And as I used them, I stacked them. So I didn't use them again. Oh. So I tried to use a bunch of different, I did that once before. I just tried to use a bunch of different colorways because, you know, there's colors that sit in my cabinet forever that I don't use. Oh, and Jacquard just came out with um, a new fluorescent. They have a fluorescent red now and a fluorescent blue. You know, we had wow. to, use, we had to use frozen before. So mm -hmm. I ordered that yes, last night, those two. And I hate Jacquard because you get like a half ounce. So I ordered two of each um, so that I would have enough to, you know, an ounce. And yeah, they don't have the two ounce containers, but and we'll see how it works. So I'll have because of the other. So I will now have a red, a pink, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple. So it'll be a seven fluorescent seven way colorway if I. That'll be awesome. That'll be beautiful. Yeah, yeah that'll be pretty. So, um, Grace, she received her nebula and she loves it. And she can't wait oh, to yeah. make it all out of it. She got my last nebula, <laughs> so that's why I, <laughs> I don't, didn't realize that every one of my different yarn bases I was out of nebula. So that was my first thing I did last week. I made all six color of those. But yeah, it's one of the popular. It's pretty. If yeah. you like the turquoise, well, you know, and the bright pink and the black. It Super. is great. <laughs> <So>. um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Chelsea, our kids, we had state testing, not this last week, but the week before 
And I feel like we had it too early because our kids are mentally done now. I got a kid saying, you're the only one who makes us work yesterday. And I'm like, I know that's not true. They're like, why do we still have to do math? And I'm like, because you're still in school. <laughs> like, you're not an eighth grader yet. And I have to prepare you to be an eighth grader. You have stuff you still have to learn and practice before eighth grade. I'm like, we have been informed. There are no off days. Oh, Our yeah. kids are still working pretty much until the last week. And then, then we're allowed to have, you know, we have stuff scheduled that last week. That's fun stuff. But I'm like, yeah, 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 I know. Well, here, because we finally got some good weather just this week, this last, yesterday and today, I know Mm -hmm. we're supposed to be in the seventies and eighties next week. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for the teachers because their kids are not going to be, you know, in mind there with them because it's so nice outside and they be wanting to to do schoolwork. And I don't think here the schools have air conditioning in them, do they? Uh, it depends on the school. I mean, yeah. It depends on the school. Yeah. Because they uh, do in Montana. They no. Are up there. It doesn't really get hot enough. No, not in, not in May. Not, not in May. And then when you start school in August, well, August, September, you only have a couple weeks where you have to worry about it in Montana where it's still a little bit warm. Yeah. Um, well, we have air. I have air conditioning in my classroom, but it doesn't work. It, it, it's been this week. It's been throwing out heat in my classroom, and then AC in the classroom that's connected to me because we share a unit that runs through my classroom. So I turn it down, and in my classroom it gets warm, and in her classroom it gets cold. So, Funny. yeah, yeah. You might just open the windows. <laughs> oh, but when it's eighty-two degrees outside, opening yeah. the window doesn't it, do anything. Yeah a lot of hot and more hot than we are so. yeah it's and it's gonna only get warmer in the next month i mean i think this week we have a high of like 85 one of the days yeah originally it was supposed to rain today um but it says high of 74 today tomorrow high of 85 yeah we're supposed to get 75 today and high of 82 yeah. tomorrow we're gonna get some nice but all last week when i was dying yarn it was between 50 and 60 degrees and uh-huh. we had who will win but i stuck the yarn outside anyway even though it didn't it didn't really dry out there as much i had to bring it in at night and let it finish mm-hmm. drying but you get that wind and it gives it a nice fresh <laughs> smell yeah so, yeah so it was just fun and now that summer's here like today i am dying yarn today um mm-hmm. today i can put it out and it'll be dry within three four hours you know so there's mm-hmm. a few um, techniques I'm going to do today that I can only do when it's nice and hot out because it takes um, days. I'm going to do some cake dyeing where you dye it in a cake. Uh-huh. You have to dry it before you and can put it. it. And yeah. re-steam it. But it, it's just, that's just some fun stuff. And now that I have, you know, I have, yeah, to, yeah now that it's getting nicer. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, um, Bree says it's in the upper 40s there and overcast and rainy. And Robin says all the schools have AC in Utah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. And Chelsea says it's it's 80 and raining there, and the termites are swarming early. Ooh, yeah. And they live in and she lives in New Orleans, and I bet it's muggy there too. They get oh. that mugginess like Florida did and Louisiana. Yeah, Tennessee. I think they don't have to worry about that in the desert. Yeah, I think almost all of the East Coast gets that humidity. Yeah. Now, think about it, because when we went to New York that in June that year, it was humid. Do you remember that? Because we weren't used to it from Montana, where it was so dry. Maybe the kids didn't. You were a kid, and maybe you guys didn't. I, don't know. I mean, I was just there a month ago. Yeah, but that was not into summer yet you were able no, but i mean it did rain like three of the days we were there yes so, i mean that could be humidity sorry i keep sorry guys if that's annoying to hear i'm trying not to over breathe out of my mouth because it dries it out but when i try to breathe out of my nose it sounds bad so i apologize guys um so, have, you, have you got any whips um, I have diamond painting whips. I don't have any yeah, me too. knitting or crocheting. But I did find this in one of my drawers. <laughs> and I'm going to get something out of it, you guys. I think I did this. It's a cotton. I'm sure it's cotton. You know, <laughs> I mean, it feels like cotton. And it looks like it's about 200 grams. 
And last night, uh, I tr- I tried. I got new crochet needles too. When do you want me to show those new uh, crochet? Um, but, eventually, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I tried some of my hooks out on, and I said to Jeff, "What should I make for this?" And he says, "Make a computer cover." I went, eh, "I don't think, yeah, like a laptop cozy." Yeah, a laptop cozy. I said, no. <laughs> well, then don't ask me anymore. <laughs> I said, well, you know, I was, it's two skeins. I could make probably a two skein shawl of some kind. Yeah. I, I looked at bun covers. I wanted to make some bun covers or whatever you call them. So I could in, put my, well, my ponytail is just at the height where it, it gets down my back and it tickles me and it makes me itch where it hits. And so the other day I tried twisting it. Of course, I do not have a single uh, bobby pin bobby pin in this house and tried twisting it and i thought oh i need one of those and they look pretty easy to make so i thought well maybe a I'll snood a snood it's called a it's snood a ballerina bun cover they're called yes, a- or a snood <laughs> <laughs> but most of them the pattern looks kind of little and but the one pattern she said if you want it bigger you just add a couple more rows on it because and then you crochet it around a a scrunch, a rubber band yeah one of those things uh-huh. a hairband a rubber hairband hair yeah. yeah so I thought okay maybe I'll try one of those in my mm. spare time <laughs> <laughs> so but anyway oh, that's my my life here that's my crocheting like I said. I, I finished up. Oh, yeah. Did I finish the hat up by last time? I finished that hat up that was on and I ordered yarn. And now, you guys, I don't ever work with acrylic, but there's a cinnamon stitches has a shawl. She calls it a, a shrug and it goes right below your chest, but I'm you can make it longer. Uh-huh. Make it longer. But she used uh, it takes three scenes of yarn. And mm-hmm. so I ordered some Mary Maxim, what she uses, because I thought I want to try it in a cheaper yarn before I before I I invest in my it's a DK weight in my silk. Oh. <laughs> my DK is my only silk, and that would be like a ninety dollar shawl, you know. True. Yeah. And I want to make sure I'm going to wear it and stuff. So I invested in some real pretty colors. <laughs> we'll see when I get them. You know how, but it. Mm. It's just a repeat pattern. You you do two panels mm-hmm. and you crochet the back up halfway and she takes it. And then um then you crochet under the arms. That's about it. And you can add more more sleeve on it if you want, just like and it's just singles and doubles. Mm-hmm. So it looks easy enough. And she's a real good pattern. Chelsea said she saw the pic- saw the picture of it and she said it's very cute. So yeah, it looked, yeah, it looked real cute. So I ordered a kind of a light. I ordered as the trim. I ordered a grayish color, gray, and then the the three color thing is light is white and light gray and like a light blue. I thought that should go with everything that I own because yeah. most of my stuff's blue. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So we'll see. I might have that by next time. It looked like it was went real fast because you lo- you use. I think you use and. An H hook. Chelsea might be able to tell me if she watched her do it, but mm-hmm. like an H hook. So it looks like it'd go pretty fast. The only thing wrong is the Mary Maxim yarn comes in one of those. It's called Prism, but it comes in one of those. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like a bear. The weird ball. The weird ball. Yeah, that has the, yeah, it's not uh-huh. really a ball, but it's not really a cake, but it's not a, thing so i don't know if i have to reskeen it or yeah. not so and uh. then she got i don't know if she ordered at different times but two the two that she was using they uh. were different dye lots and so uh. one a lot darker one came from turkey and one came from china she said oh so, interesting. yeah yeah so she what she did is she split them in half and then uh. did one and then dark it and use the darker. Yeah, it was pretty the way she did it, but a lot of work. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that mine come from the same dialogue. You'd think if they shipped them together, they'd make sure they did, but but you never they don't think about that, yeah, I'm sure. No, in those warehouses, the girls just throw them in, I'm sure. So. Is your cat moving your computer or are you moving your computer? It was me. Okay. I'm like, I just see it going. 
Yeah, she's like she's, this. Suddenly it's like this. Or <laughs> is it better? Yeah, it's better. Just like you just moving it. Um, yeah. Chelsea said she didn't see any specifics on it. She just saw the picture. Oh, yeah, it's really cute. And it, it's a nice little. <laughs> and I yeah. suppose if you, you wanted it heavier, you could use a smaller needle and yeah. make it thicker, you know, so that it's for like winter. But yeah. here it would be nice. It'll be nice because I don't, I don't like anything on my arms so i'm not good with sweaters you know to mm-hmm. i'm a push up your sleeves person yeah and i used to have to wear them when i worked at uh brent brown because the original place we were at the door to outside was um right there by the where we worked the cashiers and so it got cold but i ended up wearing holes in, case, yeah. you know, in the elbows <laughs> but i didn't wear them then but yeah i the minute I got off work, because I'd wear them under our Brent Brown Toyota shirt, you know. So, yeah. but anyway, yeah. So, can I show my pin, my things? I was just going to ask if you want to show those, so then I can show something I purchased this week. Okay, uh, you know I'm a furls people person. Let me sneeze first. Okay. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I'm a furls person, but <laughs> some stitches. She showed, they're called Omi, O-M-M-I. They're made just like the furrows, but they're half the price. They're like $11 and some cents. And then there's another brand I found on, these are on Amazon, that was uh, called a Divot, I think Divot or Divin something. And I bought one of those. So I bought all, um, I of course have furrows, but I bought um, to fill up. So I have three of each of the G's, G pluses and H's. And then I already had the I's and J's and then I bought some K's and L's and I've never had any of those. So this is my one from them. This is a G. Doesn't it look like a furls? It does. And it feels like one too. Okay. That's that one. And then this is my G plus from them. These are all Omis. Okay. And they feel just like it. I, I like it because there and i didn't realize there's two different kinds of hooks you can get they're called an inline or uh-huh. a straight these are all inline okay and that and they're they're made i mean they look just like the furls so that's g okay g plus really quickly hi maritza and hi chris welcome thanks for joining us hi yes and then <coughs> that, one. that was the g Oh, and then this one is the G. So I must have showed it. It's a white one with a little bit of black, black, black squirrel. Oh, and of course, like furrows, they're all different. And you right. don't know what pattern you're going to get. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's those three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is a little bit fancier one. This is my H. That is all fancy. That's pretty. Yeah, these are like any of the fancy ones on furls like this are like a hundred dollars when they put the little bit of extra on it. Well, mm-hmm. remember on my candy lane, yeah. the little, they were fifty dollars each. So mm-hmm. yep, eleven eighty two, and it's it's kind of a speckly inside. I don't know if you can tell, but this is my move eight. it, mom. Um, you're you're showing them like this over here. Move into your center a little. There you go. There you go. And I like it because they they're uh, they're ridged and they're they're like the furls where they're they're not just stamped on. They um they, so they, they yeah. And it's not where my thumb rests, so I won't be wearing it off. So oh, good. but that's my other key. And I tried these all out and they all work. They all feel good. Oh good. Okay, now my next group is oh, the Amazon ones. Right? That was Amazon. Or is that? Those oh, were all oh. Omi. These oh, it's Omi, Omi on Amazon? They're all from Amazon. Okay. I thought I was. I thought you meant like Omi was a different company. Then you found some other Amazon ones. Oh, no, no. Okay. And they're all the seven inch. Okay. So they fit. And then I got, this is the one different one. This is the Divin one. And uh-huh. this is a K. So 6.5. But isn't it pretty? Ooh, that is pretty. That's pretty. Yep. And then the other 6.5 I got is also fun like that. Uh-huh. It's the orange and black. 
Oh, that is beautiful. But this is Omi. This is back uh -huh. to Omi. Okay. But this is the only divin one I got. But I thought okay. I'll try, and it's just about a smidgen shorter. shorter. Okay. Just maybe half inch. So, and then these are the two K's I got. And these are Omi's again. Okay. So a, that looks like pink lemonade with the two together. I know. Yeah, doesn't it? Pink lemonade there. <laughs> and the yellow. I tried to get colors I didn't already have. Uh -huh. and then And then I bought this on Amazon. Uh -huh. to hold all my big ones oh nice so because i filled up my that other oh thing. your display stand yeah so I just well that'll them. be harder to knock them off too yeah so i have the g's from this whatever and i thought this it kind of matches and i set it in front of them and yeah so for all so i have up to a k i've never owned a a k and an l hook oh really yeah, well, I've never owned an I and a J either until I bought the ones from Furls because I always worked with G's and H's, G's and H's, you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so those are my new, and it was they were half the price. Nice. So, yeah. Well, I um, hear you. <laughs> uh, speaking of Amazon, we have an Amazon bin store, like the one that Jeff went to in Salt Lake. Oh, do you? Yes, yes we do. And so. Um, they Fridays from six to 9 PM is their first day of the week and things are $10. So we went last week on, or we went this week, actually, what day did we go? Tuesday, I think. And they were, it was $2 a day. And I happened upon an entire unopened roll of filament for $2. Wow. Yeah. For 3D printing. I haven't checked it yet to see the humidity. I do have a filament dryer if I need to dry it. Um, because sometimes it 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 looks like it was never used. I well, don't know if they resealed it or what. I sent back those three rolls of filament because I bought them and yeah. then we didn't you we didn't keep the printer. So I sent them all back and they don't go back to the manufacturer or whatever. They go into these warehouse things. They do. And will people buy a pallet because someone, uh, Chelsea just asked what an Amazon bin store is. So our Amazon bin store is called binge. Um, so what they do is they buy pallets of Amazon returns or it's not just Amazon. Cause there was some target items in there. I think they're, uh, they get pallets of returns from a whole bunch of stores and they just lay them out in these big troughs basically. And you walk up and down. We went yesterday, um, at six o'clock because it was the first day and it's $10 a day. We did buy a few things that were definitely worth way more than $10. Right. Um, and then you just walk up and down and then whatever you buy, you pay what you pay what it is for that day. And so, yeah, so I got this for $2. Wow, Jeffrey, you they, have, beat they that. have a beef store. What? That, like you went to the Amazon pallet store what and she buy? got a roll of filament for $2. Yeah. A whole yeah. kilogram. They buy Amazon uh, returns. Yeah. yeah, and they actually, well, they buy Target returns too because there were some Target items in there. So um, went, they buy lots of stores returns. You went this morning about 7 o'clock, huh? No, no I went no. yesterday at 6 p.m. That's when they start their day. Their oh, week, okay. Friday is from 6 to 9 p.m. You're lucky. But they yeah, yesterday was ten dollar day. Oh. Ours was six. Starts at six. $6. But I bought this on Tuesday or Wednesday of this week when it was two dollars. This whole week. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Thursday or Thursday morning is like fifty cent day. Yeah. Um. So, but I didn't go Thursday morning because obviously I had to work. But during the summer, we can go on those days. On yeah, the days. Really what Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Didn't you say it was? No, yeah. it's, it's every day, but. Friday or Thursday and Friday because that's when they stock. So yeah, ours closes Thursday at like noon and reopens Friday at six p.m. So that's when they, yeah they 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 pull in stock on Thursday and Friday. And there, was, and there was a line of people there. It was awesome. Yeah. But I mean, I couldn't beat that two dollars for that roll of filament, even if I have to dry it, and I can use that filament for stuff like if I'm testing a new design and stuff, which is awesome. You mean dry it? Sometimes um, they're. they're there. Yeah, if the filament has too much humidity, it gets all poppy and weird. It doesn't look right. So I have a little thing that you put it in. It's got the desiccant in the bottom, and then it heats it up and pulls the moisture out of it. So okay. if it's too humid, it doesn't it doesn't print right. <laughs> I know she's so <laughs> things I have learned doing 3D printing. <laughs> and yeah, Chris, that does make the filament dryer a great investment because I think I paid thirty dollars for the filament dryer, but it's gonna last me forever. Well, <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. You too. So yeah, so that was my big purchase this week. Um, also, if you're into, you you may not know this, Mom, but like Stanley Cups. So oh, that's what Robin was talking about. Yes. This There's- is actually from Timu. It's a dupe. So the Stanley Cups are not cheap. No, they're, not cups, they're, but they're like between 50 and 100, depending on which ones you get. I got this on Timu for like $18. And it's pretty much the same thing without the stamp. And I just washed it really good. And it, I mean, even the design, it's so similar to a Stanley. So, and I've been trying to drink more water and I've been doing a lot of the flavored waters too, um, like mixing different flavors together. So if you haven't tried Timu yet, there's some great things on there. And I bought the bumpers on Amazon. It's just what? a little for bumper to keep the bottom from oh. being loud. Like, see? Oh, okay. Like if it didn't have it on it, it would sound like the, like that. Right. So it just keeps it safe. Huh. But yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. Chelsea said Stanley are super expensive. I've looked on Amazon for them because I thought sometimes, uh, you know, expensive things, you can get them a little bit cheaper on Amazon, but yeah, they're expensive. And Chelsea said, I've heard the dupes work better. Um, I saw someone on TikTok who got a couple of the dupes and her review was pretty favorable. So I thought I'll try. I mean, it, and this is 40 ounces. So this is a big cup and the the ice stays in it really long. I mean, you know, I like my ice water. <laughs> I love my ice. Our fridge has two ice dispensers in it. So it's nice being able to have something that'll keep it cold. But yeah, so if you haven't tried Timu yet, it has a lot of things that are actually worth it and work pretty well. I mean, it comes from another country, so it takes a couple of weeks, but it's worth the cost. Well, that's the thing to look for on Amazon too, and the at the pellet store because mm-hmm. people return that kind of stuff too. Yeah, that's true. And they did have some tumblers this week, but it was for six bucks. Nice <laughs> paper towels. We need paper towels. <laughs> but as it was ten dollar a day, it wasn't worth it for some of the tumblers they had because they were the smaller ones. Uh-huh. And like, if they stay there for like until like six dollar day or five dollar day, they might be worth it. But not on ten dollar day. And Jeffrey, R started at six dollar day, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, R started at six dollar day. They didn't have a ten. There's they started at six. Yeah. But it was all the way in the middle of Salt Lake. He had to go. Ours also has a rewards program. You earn points. Um, and mm-hmm. then when you hit a certain point, you get buy one, get one free item. So and we actually earned a reward yesterday. So next time we go on ten dollar day, we can use that to get two ten dollar items for. Ten dollars, five dollars each, right? Yeah. Eight. So yeah, so that's my purchases this week. Um, so do you want to show all your yarn? Or well, some of your yarn? Oh yeah, whips, huh? You yeah. have. I have two diamond painting whips because yeah. I haven't had any more of my small, my little ones yet. Um, but oh hi, Jax. Jax is on too. Welcome. Well, hi. <laughs> I don't know. So should I do one of mine? You can do yours and I'll do my other one. Yeah. Okay. So, sorry, I got to move some stuff around. Um, I finally finished this square. <laughs> I've been on for like a month. You've got those Amazon tops on, don't you? I mean, sticker paper. I do, because they're already on. So as I take them off, I'm throwing them away. We have a visitor. Coco's Hi, watching. Hi, Coco. <laughs> But yeah, so I finally finished that. This is, I mean, I'm past the halfway point. I just need yeah. to buckle down and finish Harry Potter. I know I what you mean. Know. I, I finished mine. Even though better. I never want to look at another pink bead in my life or pink girl in my life, but yes. I finished it. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Mine is, I'm still working on my tiger lady. It's called the tiger spirit guy. And yes. I, I've, I've done quite a bit more, I think. Yeah, because last time you showed it, you only had like like, the bottom row. Yeah, I was down here. So, Mm -hmm. but I got almost the whole tiger done and a lot of her skirt. Mm -hmm. It's a really pretty one. I see the creases in it and stuff from rolling it. You guys, I look down and within five minutes, it's flat. Yeah. The DAC canvas. But this is going to be really pretty when it's done. And it does have some spots that you can do multi-placing, but I don't do it. But a lot of confetti, which I don't mind because I single place anyway. Yeah. So, 
but um, my, I did more on my elephant one that I haven't worked on since we lived up on the mountain. Yeah, uh, I remember when you got me the, got that. That's how long it's been. Um, last time I had worked on it, I was I had just done the tip of the nose. So I've done about yeah. that much in the past two weeks. That much I had only done like the bottom part. Right. So I'm. I think technically I'm about halfway through this one because of where I am. I'm about halfway across. Oh the yeah, middle. yeah. It would be. Yeah. I'm so, about a over a third, I think. A little yeah. over, almost half. And uh, this is the elephant and the dream. If you like it, it's on. It is on Diamond Art Club, and I believe it's one of their ones that's um on sale like often because it's not very popular. But I love elephants, so I mean, for me, right. Oh, Chelsea, um, the Starry Night Along starts Monday. Monday. Monday, May 1st. Let us know. I'm going to be in it. I still haven't decided if I'm doing the Black Cat or the Tabby one. I've got them both, but probably the Black Cat because I am going to do the Black Cat. We might as well talk about that now, right? Because that's a good segue. This This is what I am doing. Yeah, me and mom. Black Cat Night on Black. Just the cat's black. I was thinking a lot of the background's black. <laughs> but here's the one. You've kitted yours up, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's I, I, I really don't want to kit the other one up yet. So <laughs> I kitted it up right away when we got them. Okay. And so this I, is what I have left of my black that I haven't kit up. I know. So I thought I don't want to put any more in. Um, but this is my kitted up. And this one and this one are both the 310. And then I have those four bags. So it does have a lot of the 310 in it. And I do struggle with dark colors as I'm getting older. Um, as I'm actually starting to get cataracts now, my eyes are a little blurry sometimes when I get close with the black. But um, this is my kit. But yeah, so it it's a lot of black. But I think it'll look pretty when we finish it. Yeah, yeah. So I know, <laughs> um, Jill's got hers. And yeah got hers mm-hmm. and it doesn't matter what starry night you do if you just pick up the starry night at hobby lobby or, mm-hmm. or joanne's had it. i thought yesterday at joanne's i went into joanne's for oh yeah because joanne's does carry diamond uh diamond dots yeah it was diamond and dots. some diamond art club sometimes and they weren't on sale but there's a 50 percent off coupon so you oh. can get it for half price yeah yeah so and Michaels has that. their own line of diamond art, of diamond art now too. I've seen oh, like my maker or something. Yeah. So, and I don't know how much but it is. Like, they... Well, I I kind of watched Jill had a thing, but I think mm-hmm. they're like twenty something to forty or fifty dollars. That sounds about right for the bigger you get, the more you pay. You know, yeah. and with sense. AC, at least we earn rewards and stuff. Like I've used two twenty-five dollar off coupons, and right, and I've, I mean, I got what lies beneath for like twelve dollars with my after using discount codes, and that's a huge one. Yeah, all right, I'll roll this one back up. <laughs> I did notice. Now, this is just the thing I noticed. Um, you can get Diamond Art Club on at was it? Oh, yeah, it's at. You can get it at Hobby Lobby and at Michaels. Yeah. Club, but they're more expensive than if you get it from Diamond Art Club, and I think that's because they have the coupons and, uh-huh, and the discounts has the discount. Mm-hmm. So you know it brings it down to a little below. Unless you have, now, I see using a half price coupon at at Joanne's would bring it quite a bit down. But if you're in the Diamond Art Club, you get like we said, you can get discounts, and everybody. I mean, even when you buy your first one, I think you get a code for 15% off. And then any Diamond Art Club person you watch on, they usually have a code for your first time purchase for 20% off. Right. So, and I have that too, if you wanted to try it. Right. Also, and if you, once you've made purchases and you join the VIP group on Facebook, there's always a VIP code. Right. Um, and I'm my birthday money. My birthday, what? I get 1,500 points for my birthday in July. Me too, <laughs> next Friday. Next Friday, yeah. So, yeah. So, um, who knows what I might get. And and you can always, any anytime you hit $75, mm-hmm. you get free. So, right. but I did know if you hit $75 and use a $25 off coupon, then you're back below and you have to pay the $10 shipping. So, right. Gonna so use it's like getting 15 off. 
Yeah, you might as well try to get it to a hundred. So <laughs> you should still get the free shipping. Or save up your money for more, like yeah. for like a hundred off. Cause you can get up to like 200 off, I think with points, maybe even more if you save up more. Yeah. So yeah. And then um, you got a freebie last time with yours. No, you got it for- No, I just got offered something that was exclusive. Um, that hadn't been released yet, but they released it last weekend. I saw that. It is yeah. One, and it's not that. I think it's only like fourteen ninety nine or or twenty four ninety nine. It's not yeah. A, it was. It was like fourteen. It's real cute. I think it was like fourteen ninety nine. And then I got it for like seven ninety nine because I was using a coupon code or twenty four ninety nine. And I got it for seventeen ninety nine. Um, because I had used the whatever weekend it was. It was a discount. Uh, Oh yeah, they had that Columbus Day. That was too long ago. Uh, something going on next weekend for Memorial Day. They might, no. and their anniversary is coming up soon too. Diamond Art Club's anniversary is coming up, so they're going to be doing. Last year, you got either points or like either a gift card if you had been a member since the year before, either a gift card or a candle. So I think right. this year they might do the gift card or just drop points into your account to use towards stuff. Because that's well, coming. this year. Uh, since I don't plan on buying any more diamond art until, of course, I'm going to buy that one tiger that we found that comes out because it matches my blue lady. I'm on twice. I've put that I want to be on the list to get it. But anyway, um, I am getting, I am hopefully getting the advent this year. I hope I'm, so I'm saving my 200 because wasn't it like $200, but you got you got two paintings in it, didn't we? They get two paintings. They got two pens. They got two cards. Pens, two pens, um, some extra drills. They got ornaments. They got oh, just a lot of things. Let the heck out of me. Yeah. Um, oh, really quickly. Um, Robin says that the Stanleys are 40 to 50 on the Stanley site and Dick's Sporting Goods. So they're usually in stock now, but they weren't when she first started getting them. So right. I, I was just surprised the one I saw on Amazon that was like a hundred dollars and I double checked it was a Stanley, but I think it was bigger than 40 ounces. I think it was like a 60 ounce or 40 or a 50 ounce or something. It was big, but um, Chelsea does have her starry night. And she yeah. also reminded us to remind people, don't forget to like our video while you're watching it. Um, and if you would like to join our starry night along, you need to be a member of our Facebook group. And there is a link to that um below and it says follow us on our socials or something it's the very first link it's to the group and i have created an event in the group but all the posts for the event are going to be in the group not in the event because the event i can only set up for two weeks not the whole month so i will put like the post for your starting and for your progress photos and stuff in the actual group um mm -hmm. it's a small group right now so if you guys want to join please come you only have to answer two questions um, basically, do you follow us here and will you follow the rules? Uh, so it's easy to join. What are the rules? What are the rules? The rules are like, you're going to be kind and courteous, no self-promotion, like the normal rules for most Facebook groups. It's not uh, anything weird. And what are we doing? I mean, well, I know we're working on starting night, but are we, do they have to do like so many inches by? Oh, they have to complete. 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters, which, which we inches? decided was, I think, 11 by 12. Hold on. Where are centimeters to inches? Okay, so 30 centimeters is 11.81 inches, and 40 centimeters is 15.748 inches. About 12 by 16. So 12 by 15 ish, 12 by 15 to 16. Yeah. Most things that you like, if most bite sizes are that size. So if you get a small something, so that means you don't have to complete the whole painting or the whole diamond art to be entered. Okay. But you can finish as many as you want in that time. And every time you finish one, that's an entry. And we will be posting during the event. We'll post some small giveaways for things like maybe for like some diamond painting pens or from accessories like trays and stuff to go along with it. Um, and we'll just tell you how to enter while you're doing that. Um, speaking of which, I tried to print a new type of tray. It doesn't work great for squares, but it might for rounds. It's a new design I tried. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I've only printed four of them. So those will eventually, 
These will be on my site. There's two of each color design. Um, they're not my favorites. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. You may love them. They don't work great for squares. Rounds, I think they work good. But squares, not as good. Um, <laughs> I couldn't, I was having trouble getting into flip over flat. Oh. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'm far too honest with you, but I don't want you to buy something thinking it's a lemon and be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to be honest. We're mad at um, we don't want, we want all five-star reviews. <laughs> I know. So, and I am working on now with the new bamboo program um, for the bamboo lab. I think I can figure out how to design a tray with something written on it exclusively for the event. So I'm going to try that. But with four weeks, four weeks of school left, that's where most of my brain is. But I'm trying to do some stuff for us too on here. I picked the worst week for us to start this or the first worst time for us to start this, but it's better than starting at the beginning of summer break. I think for most people. <laughs> now to post on our site, mm -hmm. on our thing, on our group, you just have to be in the group. Anyone can post in the group if you're in the group. Okay. <laughs> so I've been the only one making posts in there. Nobody else has really posted anything. Okay. So you can. I'm not that good at knowing how to do that kind of stuff. You just so. take pictures, or you can just make a comp, make a post that talks about stuff that you're doing. And yeah. it doesn't. Have, it's not just diamond painting, guys. If you're knitting or crocheting, it's it's any of the crafts that you do can be posted in our group. Okay. It's totally fine. Anything that you do can be posted in there, um, because I mean, we do everything. That's right. We'll so we'll have to see what you guys do. Maybe this week I'll try to post a picture. Of, of it and my kit all kitted up that'll That'd be, be good post. yeah yeah i have a different kind of kit than amber does i have three of them yes. i'm on the little suitcases i yes. like this. so yeah oh it was so funny now if you guys have diamond painted a while you'll understand i was diamond painting along on this one and i'm going i am running out of this color i am not i'm only a third done and i i know there's gonna be more of this brown in there and i'm down to like four you know and i'm thinking and i looked because this kit has 60 jars i mean my kit thing has 60 jars and i only used 53 of them so for the extra you know you get extra packets like you know i pour them in there and i checked all those and the number wasn't on any of those and i went i hate to have to write them again because remember i had to on yeah, my you had issues with one of my colors the on blue my girl book. wasn't it yes, the blue girl mm -hmm. so i'm going and i'm going oh my gosh i i, I don't want to you know i look in my kit and my kit has this, this oh yeah uh, pocket in the back uh -huh. i had two more packs of that color that i had just stuck in the pocket because i didn't have any more extra things to go like my <laughs> extra 310s that are sitting out yeah. <laughs> and I went, oh, gee, Donna, you know, but yeah, number 31. <laughs> so, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. And then in this, is in this painting, only one spot, you know, there's so many symbols. This thing kind of has like, wow, 65 or something. No, I said it had 54. Okay. 54. Well, one of them, it has a, a square like this. Okay. Mm -hmm on like a light tan and then a little deeper tan it has a seven yep and it's in the same area i caught myself and i thought no that doesn't quite match and then i saw it's a seven not a upside down l you know so i uh i get that my elephant one has a seven an uppercase t and a y that are three different light pinks Oh. And they're all mixed in together. And it's like, okay, I'm going to do this one first so I can get all that one done and not confuse myself. <laughs> the people that, you know, I I pat them on the back for doing this, but we'll have three or four trays of different colors out and work from them all at once. I can't I do that. that. Uh, and I, I, and the people that work with the whole, like the whole bottom at once or whatever, I have to, what was her name? Craftily Crashly? Crafts with Crashly. That yeah. one? Yes. If it wasn't for her getting those those papers, oh, yeah. her, I don't know what I'd have done. I mean, because I watched on some, they they use, they mask off with the masking tape or whatever. And oh, they, they use the washi tape and then they cut out the squares. And I that's what I tried at first with the Harry Potter because that's what I had seen on videos. And I was like, okay. 
but with the clear plastic on it, it's hard to tell where your section ends. So I'd be trying to put diamonds on the plastic because oh, yeah. I couldn't tell it had ended. Yep. yep. So it's like, yeah. And then I did. So these I papers wanted, are amazing. Now, one of them, you know, they send you a, what is it called? Washi tape with mm -hmm. thing. And one of the washi tapes they sent me, and it was on my, I believe. And that's mm -hmm. the one I got. I got that at Hobby Lobby, but it is a diamond art. Uh, right. Club. And didn't it have the glitter washi tape that was. Well, it was red, the reddish. Yeah. And I put it along the outside because when they pour the glue, some of the out where you don't put the thing that goes over a little bit mm -hmm. and my arm was sticking to it. Well, yeah. then when I pulled the washi tape up, it was pink. The color changed. Yeah. I've so, had that too. Yeah, be a little careful. I, I, I'm trying to only use the white washi tape this way. Well, even the light colors, like I have light blue on the bottom of my elephant in the dream. And I, it's not I think masking tape would work great doing that. I wouldn't use masking tape. I would use painter's tape. Painter's tape is meant to be removed. Masking tape is not always meant to be removed. Painter's tape is made with like a paper, isn't it? Like, like washi yeah, tape. masking tape is too, but painter's tape has a lighter uh, adhesive. Okay. Anyway. So like in order of strength of adhesive, there's washi tape, then like blue painter's tape, then masking tape. It's stronger. We're all new at this, you guys. So if you guys have any questions that you think are dumb, ask them anyway. We've probably already. <laughs> Had to deal with it. So. And we just ramble. Um, yeah. I haven't even got to show my yarn yet. I know. Do you want to show it now? Yeah. At that point. Okay. I dyed, like I said, I dyed 23 colors this week. And out of the 23 colors, six of them were the nebula. Of course, my regular nebula because I was out. But then I just grabbed, I mean, I just have some here that I, I only have it here because I haven't taken pictures of it yet. And I haven't named them. So. These are not on my site. This one is on my site. This one, and this is in worsted. This I'm going to put you in full screen and then I'm going to mute myself so it doesn't accidentally go to me, just so you know. I'm going to give, yeah. Okay, so this one is called Burning Embers. And these are all one of a kind, you guys. I did not write recipes because I was just having fun this weekend. Okay, now the next four I show you, I do not have names on them. If you think of a name, yell it out. Tell me. Okay, so this one is turquoises, midnight blue, and kind of a teal. And this is in worsted. I have no idea what I'm going to name it. Okay, then this is in purples and purples. Purples and light purple and a little bit of teal. This is worsted too. You see that teal? I thought... Um, I'll do some darker colors. I tend to do brighter colors. And so my, my coloroids are all lighter colors. And I know when you're working with worsted, sometimes you want to do hats and stuff for your husbands and stuff. So, and this one, I don't have a name yet either. And it's kind of a peach and pink, got a little teal and aqua and some brown, lots of colors. I had fun. <laughs> okay. And then this last one I'm going to show you is a fingering weight and it is um browns and teal and an aqua so mm -hmm. but the rest are all on my site already and these will go up this afternoon so go ahead and if you get a chance look at my site and see what what i've got available but like i said they're only one of a kind or two of a kind so when these are gone they're gone okay I'm They're back. really pretty. I'm back. Sorry. I, <laughs> I took yeah. that opportunity to blow my nose too. So you guys wouldn't hear it. <laughs> but yeah, but look at the other colors. Cause I've got a lot of colors that I wouldn't have normally made. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Chelsea said she just got the notification that you added more. Um, and the blue looks like a lagoon to her. Yeah. Um, yeah. It she's is like, pretty. Oh, I need that purple and speckled fall for the last one. Speaking of blue and lagoon. Did you watch on Hulu the, um, oh, what's her name? Blue Lagoon. Um, Brooke Shields documentary. You need to watch it. It's on what? Netflix? It's, I think it's on Hulu. I don't have. It's on Hulu? Either Hulu or Netflix. Um, it's like a three-part series about her life, like from being a child star 
and how she's grown up through it. It was really good. Like I was enthralled. Like I knew some of the stuff about her life, but it's Mm -hmm. interesting. It was interesting to hear her perspective on, I mean, because I know you and I have discussed her, her early childhood films and stuff. Yes. Nowadays would not happen. Right. Right. But it was really good. Oh, good. Okay. They've watched it with me. Documentary not too long ago. And I was going to see if you watch it. And now I can't for my life of me remember what it was. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, it was one of the. It was a murder mystery one, I think. Was it the one about the murder murders? Because we did watch that one. I don't know. But it was just last week or the week before. So I'll have to remember what it was. Okay. You. But okay. It was- the Brooke Shields one is called Pretty Baby. Um, that was Shields, first and film. it's on Hulu. That was that first film. Yes. Yes. But it talks about her life with her mom and a lot of stuff. Then and, and like her marriage to Andre Agassi and all that stuff. And lots of things happened in her life that nowadays things would have been different for her now. If she was a child star now. Oh, yeah. Right. In the day, things were, I mean. Oh, I started many. watching the, Mar- the Marilyn Monroe one. Oh, we didn't watch that one yet. Another one that that things that happened and then would never happen today. So. Yeah, so many things. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, those are your yarns. I'm going to show you a couple things really fast. So my new... <laughs> I know you don't watch Bob's Burgers, mom, but some of our viewers might. Because yeah. this week, um, <laughs> I found um, an STL to print the Coochie Kopi doll. And we need to paint the eyeballs, but this is Coochie Kopi and this is melted Coochie Kopi. Because there's an episode where Louise gets the flu. And this is our Coochie Kopi nightlight. And they accidentally melt it. And it looks like this and it becomes bad Coochie Kopi. So I printed both of these this week. And each one took about an hour and a half to print. Compared to the workhorses. Um, so I had wanted to show these off. These are not for sale. We're going to paint them and these are going to go in, in our classrooms. Um, I'm going to make some more for Dave too, so we can both have them in our classrooms. But I just want to show how cute those were. Um, you have seen on my website, I'm sure, I posted some yarn bobbins for sale. I posted quite a few new sets. These are the ones that I have posted. Okay. And then I have more that I printed after. And all these ones that I printed after that I have not posted yet are all dual color. So they're all on one side. They're like, this is peach and green. Um, one of them is like dark peach and, peach and light peach. One is purple and peach. Um, one that's mostly purple and then one that's like blue and green. So I have more and I have three sets of each of these ones to post. So if you look on there, you'll see that a lot of them have multiple sets. So if you like one of the colors, and you want more than one set, there's multiples of those available. And there will be more, like I said. Um, these are probably going to be something I only sell in person if we do like a market. But I want to show you guys. They're my ghosts. My my bouncing ghosts. So, Mom, I showed you these. Yes. Um, I'm going to see if... Um, you can't see what I'm doing, but... Hold on. I'm trying to show so it'll... You guys see it now? Everything's cool. <laughs> So I have bouncing ghosts, guys. They're so cute. Um, And these bottoms are like little springs. So I learned how to print these this week. But um, these are hard to show, like on a picture, how cool they are um, (laughs) without a video. But so I've done bouncing ghosts. And like I said, there is actually a little market here we can do um, that doesn't charge you anything to do it. You just come, you set up, you sell what you want, and you go home. Wow. Well, Dave and I are looking into doing that this summer sometime. And then. These are the fun. And I will be posting these on my website. Um, but I have more octopi. And look at the purple on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Um, if you guys different. don't know about my octopi yet. They are so fun. Get your um, toy. What? They're fidget toys. They are a fidget toy. And they're not super loud. Oh, I should do a shorter reel about my, um, the jumping ghosts. Because I can do a little video. Yeah. But, if you get a post them on your website, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And then 
I did. I do have a few new silk ones, but I'm I'm having trouble with the articulation on the silk ones because silk tends to be brittle with small parts sometimes. So the ones that are not silk print perfectly. The ones that are silk, I have a, I have like five back here that have lost a part of the limb because the end of the, the silk gets brittle. So when I go to peel it off, it breaks. But I don't have a lot of silk ones, but I have a lot of fun dual color ones. Like this guy is blue and green. Are you going to put those on your side or not? Yes. That's what I just said. I'm sorry. Did I, was I short? I didn't mean to be short. Um, this one reminds me of a cantaloupe. You guys got oh. the orange in the bottom and the green on the top. So yeah, and then I have a whole bunch of just plain white ones. Because that was when I when I just got it. I was making sure I was getting consistent results. So I printed like eight sets of white ones. So I have a lot of white ones. And then like I'm annoyed. Purple, I don't know purple what it is. and bluish purple. And then some that are like remind me of like an icicle or an ice cube. Oh yeah. Are those glow in the dark ones? Nope. They're oh, just regular. Cool. It's just a color changing filament. It just change it, change it. It just change it. Um, change that white, white down. White. down. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. Uh, you can look for those. I haven't taken pictures of those yet. Um, I kind of like to go to school and visit my school nurse and give her first dibs on when I print new stuff because she has bought so many of the octopi since I started doing them. So I like to give her first dibs. But yeah. So that's what I've got right now. And like I said. You can watch for these being discounted on there. Like, and I only have two. This one is like purple and dark purple. And this is like blue with green. So there's two of each of those. So you can watch for those. Are you going to try to print the thing that I gave you that I want you to print? For yes, but I have to wait till I get my new hot end, which oh, has shipped. It shipped that night, actually, at like 1030 that night. Um, okay. It should be for Monday. So I <laughs> Thursday, I had a catastrophic failure. And I ended up having to come home at lunch because I accidentally had our DoorDash delivered to our house um, <laughs> instead of the school. <laughs> so I had to come home, home and get it. And I came inside to go to the bathroom really fast. And I had like clumped around the hot end. Like the, the filament had just melted out. It was like a big pile of poo around the filament um, and it went up inside the hot end and when it got stuck around the outside so unfortunately I had to order a new hot end but it's not a big deal they're easy to change out um, and how many hours I have run this since I got it in a week um, I didn't show you this I printed this too they come they they come with the little scraper piece and then they give you the file to print the rest of it so you can put it together to like scrape your bed if you need to so I printed the scraper and the holder, and then you put it together with the screws they provide and the little scraper in that they provide. Oh. And then they give you the magnet, so I actually can stick it to the side of my thing so I don't lose it. But oh, yeah, so I have printed so many hours on this in the last week. Um, since Monday, I've printed so much. So, you know, things happen. Oh, and if you don't know, if you're in my little, my mini skiing club, you get one of Amber's bobbins every time, every Every month I send you. That's part of this special for this. And, and you got all the ones I sent you, right? Yes, I did. And if you've never used one, they're really nice for like at the end of your crocheting, you know, you always have this little ball left and then you wind it up and then it rolls everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just put it around here and it stays in place for when you decide to use it for mini skeins. Or, I mean, you know, to make or uh, for any whatever you use your extra little stuff for but yeah it just keeps them really nice yep so and like i said i have a whole bunch of white ones available in my shop i think i have like 10 sets of white ones available you can see how many i have but it doesn't matter what color they are they no, no. no matter what yeah so they're just fun so mm -hmm. all right so i have my tokyo treat and now it's for the fun part you guys and I did open it up and I'm glad I did because I, I read some of the stuff and I realized I needed a bottle opener. And I'm going to see how things taste with a cold. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be bad or not. I can kind of taste. So maybe oh, that would be a good thing. When you said with the cold, I thought you meant because you had it in the refrigerator. No, <laughs> with a cold. <laughs> I actually had forgotten to put this in the fridge and I woke up at 6 30 this morning to go to the bathroom and I was like oh 
I'm going to put that in the fridge right now. So it's not going to be super cold, but it'll be cold enough. So this month is Sakura month in Japan. And Sakura is the um, Japanese cherry blossom. That's what Sakura is, is. So everything in here is kind of based on that, that um, theme-ish. So the first thing we get is every month I get a different flavor of Kit Kats. So, and an entire bag of them. I got to find what it says about them in here though. Okay, this month we get a bag of peach Kit Kats. Um, and it says pretty in pink, these peach flavored Kit Kats are all dressed up for the picnic. Bursting with juicy pink flavor, these sweet and fruity Kit Kats are a spring flavor fave. So, oh, they have different, the packaging is different. There's three different packages on them. Um, show you this. Depending on which one you get, is there one? Okay, so mine only came with two different designs. No, there's the third. So, one is just pink with the peach. One is the pink and yellow with the peach. And then there is pink with the heart that has writing in Japanese. And I'm going to guess that they are white chocolate. And they do have a spot on the back where you can write someone a cute note with them. Cute. But I think I'm going to like these. Um, I can you back to the ones I didn't like. And it was the, the red bean paste. I'm not a big fan of the red bean paste flavor. But I do like peach. And they are the white chocolate. That looks pink. Yeah. <laughs> a pink white chocolate. Oh, it's kind of got a tang to it. That's good. Sorry. I don't want to be gross and talk and chew at the same time. Mm. Bye, Bree. Have a good day. Thanks for joining us. Bye. So that one's a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hard to talk and chew. I know. Oh, this looks interesting. They look like pork rinds. Oh, but they're pink. But they're pink. I'm going to guess they're Sakura flower flavored. Ooh. Whatever they are. Maybe a good day to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Okay, these are Sakura Senbai. Transport your taste buds straight to a Hanami picnic. I need scissors. Uh, with bite-sized pink rice crackers. Oh, okay. Rice crackers. They have a floral twist, though. They're made with real cherry blossom leaves. Oh. Do they not smell good? I don't want to smell anything. Oh, okay. But this is how they look. Hmm. I mostly just taste like the salt. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a good thing because common allergen in this is shrimp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we all know how much. It's animal. a good day for me to do a taste in. <laughs> all right, let's see what's next. Oh, Caplico. It is a mini ice cream cone. Oh. Of some sort. Let me find you. Okay. Mini Caplico. Shaped like mini ice cream cones, these have two layers of sweet cream filling inside a savory, crispy wafer. Hmm. That's cute. That's yeah. adorable. Oh, yeah. That is so cute. Hmm. Mm, it's good. It's sweet. I like that. That was it good. It's good today. I could taste the cream. Oh, good. Like, you know, when you make whipped cream and you know how you can feel it sometimes in the back of your throat as you're swallowing it. I felt that and I could taste that they use real cream for that. Good. Okay. Let's see what this thing is. Someone knocking on your door? Nope. They're out there pounding on their cars. Okay. 
This is a full moon pond cracker. Classy picnics call for classic snacks. This traditional soy sauce flavored ice rice cracker, right? Oh, rice cracker <laughs> is crisp, savory, and great for sharing. I cannot speak either. Oh, there's two of them, and one is thicker than the other. They're kind of colored like flan. Smell salt. Like those crackers you get that are coated in the caramel. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's just a rice cracker, but you should have brought us. You should have brought Dave in there today so that he could taste them too. So that they should have, so he could tell me how. <laughs> tell me how accurate my tasting skills are today. Right. But I feel like they're probably not. You guys don't get as many funny faces today. Oops. Did they give me two of them? I got two of the mini ice creams. Oh, neat. That one's strawberry flavored. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Like, I think it's only in here once. So let's see what's next. Sorry, like what's on top? What am I seeing on top? Let's do this one. That's on top. Sakura Manju. A Sakura season staple, this adorable sweet is the perfect cherry blossom treat. The soft round pastry is made with rice flour and filled with pink cherry blossom flavored sweet bean paste. Oh, I don't <laughs> love sweet bean paste. I know that. That's what it looks like. Ooh, they're really big. It's like a little bagel. I was saying it looks like a donut. <laughs> Almost. I smell the sweetness. Not that good. I don't love the texture. Oh. Mm. You know, when you say that, because um, I know you've always been a texture person. Mm -hmm. The lady on Cinnamon Stitches, Jennifer, she's mm -hmm. a texture person too, with her hands, with mm -hmm. the stuff in her mouth. She said, yeah, she's really sensitive to it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sensitive. Why, I mean, I don't love fish anyway, but I think that's a big reason why I don't like sushi. The times I've tried it. Ugh. I don't love fish flavor, obviously, but um, just the texture. Yeah, I couldn't it. do the texture. I couldn't oh. do that other thing either. Um, caviar. Yeah. Is that slimy? Boy, have they got the cars across the street now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chelsea says she's a texture person too. I just, if, yeah, my hands too. If my hands, when I wash my hands, mm -hmm. I have to put lotion after them because if they get dry, everything, the texture feels weird. Yes, I hate that feeling of like a dust almost. Mm -hmm. Yes, Chelsea, I struggle with slimy too. Ugh. Um, or mushy. Ugh. If the if the yeah. Okay. These are Texas corn okonomiyaki. Does these crunchy corn snacks are flavored after a picnic party favorite okonomiyaki, which is a Japanese pancake filled with cabbage, meat, and any other topping you'd like. It's covered with a savory sauce. Oh, Look. this is one of the, uh, it may contain traces of shrimp, but, and crab, but it's not a main flavor. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. I think I've had something like this before. I think these are kind of like the long sticks that I used to get. Oh, okay. It's kind of like um, a corn snack. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here putting these over on my diamond painting thinking, I hope nothing spills. Right. <laughs> I'm like, that'd be bad. All right. Are you texting someone? No. <laughs> I see you looking down. I got a, a notification, but not a fail one, but somebody. Oh. Last night. Oh, I should ask you. Got an apple. Last night, uh -huh. a lady, I hate it when you get somebody... Not that I hate this, you guys, but that that favors your items. But instead of favoriting your shop, they go through and favor every one of your items. And this lady must I have did done that to your cotton shop like three days ago. 
And I had and, to turn my sound off on my phone. Yeah, uh, but this was on my regular, and I, I don't know how to turn it. I turned the sound off, and I still got that. I, could I, hear I just flipped my sound down, and I just got vibrations, and I didn't get the sound notification anymore. Like, and I, I went on to Etsy, you know, on my Etsy thing there, and tried to turn off the sounds on that. Nothing. And I yeah. thought, oh, goodness, lady. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know we like we appreciate it, but just favorite the whole shop. If you're gonna like everything, just favorite the whole shop. Do that anyway. Um, some <laughs> people do that though, because some some people's shops have coupons set up where if you don't purchase something, you favorite it within like 24 hours or 48, you get a coupon for that item. Yes. So it's yes. a strategy. Right. Um, <laughs> okay, sour paper candy cola. These chewy candies may be paper thin. But they're blooming with cola flavor. I would just like to say they are not paper thin. Laffy taffy? No, it's like um, like the sour um tongue things that I get. Like the the rainbow things you get that are striped rainbow and they're just flat. Oh, almost like almost I think like, uh, though. No, okay. I thought maybe it was set up to peel off an end, but it's not. Kelsey said, I didn't know you get notifications. I apologize for any late night favoriting. That's all right. Once I'm asleep, uh, it's fine. But <laughs> My phone on, on weeknights goes on do not disturb at 8.30. So yeah. I don't get any notifications until the morning when my alarm goes I, off. I, I need to learn how to do that. Mm. I'll show you when, next time I see you. Mm. Okay. It's good, but it's sour. Oh, okay. That reminds me of like fruit. It reminds me of fruit roll-ups looking there. Mm-hmm. But we can actually, in the U.S., we get sour candies like this, but they're like rainbow colored. They have them a lot at, um, I bought a huge bag of them um, at your. Uh, NPS? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bought a huge bag when we lived there of them. I remember that now. I finally ate them all. Well, I'm, NPS is changing. Oh. It's not like a, now it has almost like a grocery section. I mean, they oh. had groceries before, but now like a third of the store is all, it's, it's, you go up and down these short aisles and they're all groceries and not oh. a lot of the really, really good buys like they used to have. That was a really good buy. I remember. Yeah. I remember, I think I got that whole bag for like $6 or something yeah. or $8. It was so, I mean, I, I think I bought, I might've bought two of them. Yeah. I think I bought, went back and bought another one. Cause I, yeah, it was a good deal. Okay. Sorry. These are. Ghana Cake Bites says these little guys are perfect for sharing with your friends at a picnic. Soft and scrumptious, scrumptious, scrumptious. These cute bite-sized pillows are packed with chocolatey flavor. That's what it looks like. Kind of looks like a little bonbon. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Their chocolate isn't as sweet as our chocolate. But it's good. Are you making those today? Right. Okay. Nothing. Jeff brought steaks home. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be one of the last things I eat. <laughs> well, it's a little sucker, but it's oh. like you dip it in the powder. Oh, okay. okay. And that's going to. Okay, I just have to show you this. I'm not going to drink it yet, but look at how cute and tiny that bottle is. Aww. Okay, this is going to go to the side so I can get to the other stuff in here. Okay, these little cuties with little bunnies on them. Where are you, little bun buns? Okay, these are Kapi Ramune. Just like the tradition of uh, Hanami picnics, these soft Ramune candies have a long history. They come in a sweet and sour, mouth-watering assortment of orange, strawberry, and lemon flavors. Mm. Okay. What you got? I'm going to try a strawberry one. Well, it's got all three flavors inside of it. Oh, okay. They kind of look like sweet tarts. They taste like sweet tarts, but the texture was different. It was good, but different. I was trying to decide if I liked the texture. <laughs> it's a little more crunchy. Um, oh, Robin said she's had the little ice cream cones. They're very oh. cute. And they were very good. Okay, let's see. Another cute little Sakura bag. 
It's probably gonna be Sakura flavored, which, let's see, where are you? So many pages. Okay, this is Sakura cherry candy. It says you can't celebrate cherry blossoms without some cherries. These hard candies are flavored with the juice of Yamagata Prefecture's famously sweet Sato Nishiki cherries. And they have a little Ziploc bag on the top, which oh, makes them nice. Oh, they're not super little. So I'm probably going to suck on one and then maybe spit it out to, to just see how it tastes. So I, I don't have to suck on it forever. Mm. Okay, I can actually really taste the cherry with this one. You can? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's good. But I'm going to spit without you guys seeing. Because <laughs> I, I don't want you guys to see me spit something out. It's good. I just don't want to be sucking on that forever. I'm going to show you. The ramen I got is a spicy ramen. That's right. You always get a ramen, don't you? Have you yeah. ate any of the other ones? No, because two of the four I've gotten have been spicy. Oh. And I don't do spicy very much. What about it Dave? Does... Is it spicy? Yeah, it's, sometimes it's too spicy. Um, this vegetarian ramen is bringing the heat to the Hanami picnic party. With a del delicate balance of spice and flavor, Kirikara ramen packs a fiery punch. Just like the cherry blossoms, this ramen is a sh is sure to leave a lasting impression. Although maybe I should eat it today to get myself my nose up um, uncontested. Yes. <laughs> Clean your nose right up. I actually had ramen soup for breakfast with some um, canned chicken in it because oh. um, I didn't. I, I had it at like eight forty five this morning because when I don't know when I'm sick, sometimes having soup just helps helps clear my nose up. Yeah. Even if it's not spicy. Okay, what are you? What are you? It's a weird packaging, so I'm not sure what it is. Sakura matcha cookie bites. Oh. This bite into a popular spring flavor combo made in heaven. Sakura and matcha. This slightly bitter taste of matcha green tea goes perfectly with sweet Sakura cream. Okay. I knew matcha was green tea, but I don't know how to open. Oh, hey, look, it says open. Open me here. <laughs> we'll open a little flap. I don't know how to open it. Okay, other countries really do have fun packaging. <laughs> they do. And they have, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't gotten any of like the super fun like toilet candy and stuff ever. They have like toilet candy. Where like you mix it fizzy in a toilet and then eat it. It's yeah. In a toilet? Yeah, like a little tiny toilet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it looks it looks like a dog treat to me. Oh, okay. But I hope it doesn't taste like that. Or a cat treat. It's green. That's the matcha. That's the matcha. Not that, not that good. I don't love the texture of the uh, cream that was inside. Oh, yeah. And like we've discussed, texture girl here. Okay, I've got two left in my drink. <laughs> so I've got, this is another Ghana cocoa thing, I think. Um, that looks fun. Ghana. It's a Ghana truffle. Like Sakura petals in a gentle breeze, you'll be swept away by these luxurious chocolate truffles. They have three layers, a creamy milk chocolate ganache center, or ganache, a coating of velvety dark chocolate, and a dusting of cocoa powder in a cute little box, like the matcha ones, and with a bag inside the box. Okay. There's my chocolate truffle. Oh, the dark chocolate was really bitter. Like, the cocoa powder on the outside. 
Huh? That's they probably use real cocoa powder, not it's kind of bitter. My tongue touched it. And it tasted it right away. Yep. Butter not it's really good. Go go in your home. <laughs> There we go. Sorry, it's kind of taking a second to fully dissolve. Oh, yeah. I can swallow it. Robin brought me back from Hawaii some chocolate covered um, macadamia nuts. Mm -hmm. And they're like that. They've got. got chocolate around it but then they're dipped in the cocoa and mm -hmm. the first thing it's a, like a dry but oh they're good mm -hmm. yeah that's but it's how chocolate it's not the and this is just from hawaii and it but it's not the same chocolate milk chocolate that we have it's more of a yeah. every i mean every yeah everywhere makes things different even though they they're part of the u.s they're their own thing too you know yeah because you know snack crate snack crates from different countries you know what country was this month Hawaii and Hawaii is not a country; it's the United States. But that's true. That's true. It is but country. I mean, they have their own their yeah. own stuff there. They really do. Yeah, okay. yeah. Cola lollipop dipper. That's the last thing I was saving myself. Okay? okay, it's time to have some fun with your food. Open the candy bag carefully. Take a lick of the cola flavored lollipop, then dip it in the candy powder for a bubbly burst of flavor. Oh, it's okay. It's kind of like licking, licking me. Yeah, like a licking maid. So there's my lollipop. Yeah, I didn't put a ton, but. Is your mouth fizzy? <laughs> it's, it's like a... the inside of a Zot. <laughs> it's a fizzy mouth. That's fun. But it's good. Okay, I'm going to save that for later. I'm going to finish that later. Okay, now we have our drink left. Here's our adorable little drink. And I think it's strawberry flavored. Let's see. It should be cherry flavored. It should be, but it looks like it has a picture of a strawberry on it. Okay, strawberry king cider. Okay. Grab a bottle opener and pop open this refreshing Sakura colored strawberry soda made with Amao strawberries, AKA the king of Japanese strawberries. They're famous for their delectable sweetness. Okay, now let's see if I can use a bottle opener because I have not for years. Where'd you get the bottle opener? Did you buy it? Or did no, you No, Dave had one. Oh, so he yeah. It in one of his boxes. Oh, uh, yes, Chris, they do still make Zots. I have found them a couple times. And the long, you get like. You can buy them at Cracker Barrel. If you have a Cracker Barrel, they always have them there. Um, because you know they have like the classic candy, but yeah, okay. So this is my smell like strawberry. Hopefully, I don't know. I think so. It's kind of like strawberry crush, kind of. Oh, okay. I'm but very bubbly. It is bubbly because I would say a lot of the drinks you got have gotten don't have um, seltzer in it or whatever. Mm -hmm. They've oh, been uh, not carbonated. Carbonated, right? Mm -hmm. But look, I love how this says "you yugarito cider." Like it actually says everything else is in Japanese on the label, and it says something is one percent, but I don't know what that one thing that's one percent is. But it's good. It's good. <laughs> oh, but but I love I, I love the bottle size. It's so I tiny. Love bottle yeah i mean it's not even like a full can size <laughs> so that's my box that's everything that was fun that was a fun box i yeah. probably will go back later and taste these again and tell you that i don't like half the things i said i liked right i am um, <laughs> noticed too with all your boxes you don't get a lot of chocolate when we were getting snack crate in that other box mm -hmm. i bet half of the with different chocolates remember that we had all kinds of chocolate wafers i chocolate. did yeah but I don't think some countries don't do as much, don't have as many chocolate snacks. Right, right. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. But I mean, I got two chocolates in here, and well, three counting the Kit Kats. But today. they were white chocolate. I don't count. I don't count white chocolate as chocolate. Oh, all right, that's fair because white chocolate is really just 
vanilla chocolate or vanilla something. I don't know how they even make them. White chocolate is actually not made from chocolate, I don't think, if I remember correctly, but I don't know. But it's good. But that was good. I hate it when you get a chocolate and it coats your mouth. You get that coated taste in your mouth. Haven't had that happen for a while. Anyway, that's kind of our show for today. Huh? Yes. So make sure if you haven't joined our group yet on Facebook, there is a link down below. It says follow us on our socials. It's the first link underneath that. Um, if you want to join our sorry night along, it starts Monday. So you got to be in our group to get all the announcements about that. I will make some posts in the next couple of days to remind you to get your stuff kitted up. So you're ready to go on Monday. Oh, um, I to and- announce, yeah, it's my last tomorrow's the last day. For the Wizard and Witches Club for me. I'm going to mute myself for a second. (laughs) I'm getting a box. My, I think it'll be my last Cat Lady box. And it's the Mother's Day special Cat Lady box. So it'll be interesting. And I should have that by next time. But then I'm going to decide whether I want to go on with it or get something else. Where did you go? There you are. (laughs) I had to blow my nose and I muted myself so you guys wouldn't hear me doing it. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want you to have to see it either. I'm trying to be polite. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay. so, uh, yeah. Um, in any of your clubs, is it the last day for anything on your clubs? Yeah. My Wizard and Witches ends tomorrow for me. Okay. So right. there's a few of you that haven't got into it yet that are normally in it. So, but if you don't watch this till later, you, you won't get in it anyway. Anyway, and then I have the Summer at the Castles up. And Amber and my, well, kind of Amber and my uh, mini skin club because you get one of Amber's little products in each of that. That's so, true. Yeah. Yep. I make all the money, but I do pay her for those. Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't just give them. Nope. I'm not that nice of a daughter. I probably should be, but I'm not. Yeah. It cost you a lot of money. Well, it really wouldn't. Because, <laughs> but well, how many you need, it does add up eventually. But. I don't know how long I will keep this. I, I last year I quit it for the summer, the mini skiing club, and I may again this year. The wizard, the uh, wizard of witches club ends August, I think, because we're doing the movies this month, this year. So there'll be eight months of it. So mm-hmm. but yeah, and some of you have been with me forever. So thank you so much. And and how many more of these? What is this called that you're getting the snacky crate? What's it called? Um, I'm on monthly, so I can cancel at any time. Oh, okay. Can, every month. It's a uh, Tokyo treat. Tokyo treats, okay. Mm-hmm. So it's all Japanese every time, which I'm kind of obsessed with their candy and treats and snacks. I went on a snack crate the other day just mm-hmm. because they had this $5 offer. You got the Hawaiian one for five. But now they have three different sizes you can get. You can get mini, you can get regular what it and then you can get a family size one i thought well that's kind of they used to have the two size ones didn't they they had like the mini and then one that came with a drink i never got a drink one with snack crate but i don't i don't think you subscribed to the the drink one yeah i know that the uh and you got what you got something different universal yums universal yums yes and universal yums had two tiers too i believe but I get emails from them sometimes telling me, you know, this is what we're doing this month. But I'm like, eh, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. So anyway, thank you guys for joining us. Um, two weeks from today is May 13th, which is the day before our anniversary. So are you doing anything that weekend? Yeah. It's yeah. two weeks before school's out. I mean, yeah. and when is Mother's Day? Is that next Sunday? Yeah. No. First, isn't it the first? It's no, it's our it's our anniversary, May fourteenth, the day after oh, Mother's Day. Day after. The day after we film next time. Um, so we should be two weeks into our um our diamond paint along, right. and yeah, hopefully I'll have something to show for that two weeks. I don't know. <laughs> Hope so. Yeah. Now yeah. with the weather, nice too. They're having lots of craft shows. I've noticed. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and a lot of those crawls, which I still don't understand the crawls, the yarn crawls. You just go to different places and look at their stuff. And then you get like something stamped, I think. And if you go to all of them at the end, you get like a bag. Depends on who's running it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just to encourage you to shop at different stores. Yeah. Because um, Cinnamon Stitches, she said they're having one, but it starts this next week and her daughter graduates this year. So this last month of school is, you know, mm-hmm. so... 
There's yeah. a lot going on. A lot going on. And then mm -hmm. Thomas went to the senior prom. I you should that. be very proud. He was looked so nice, Robin. So <laughs> yeah. my grandson, guys. So anyway, um, I guess nothing else going on. I think that's it. And we'll see you guys in two weeks. And make sure that if you want to join us on our diamond diamond paint along, join our group. If you want to just come and say hi. You don't have to actually do the diamond paint along. You can just come join our group. Yes. Um, it's and, linked and below. It, it, yeah. And if you watch this later, if you watch this years later, you can still come join our group. I'm sure we'll still have our group there. So yes. because uh, eventually we'll have other things on it, you know, so. Mm -hmm. but, yep. And maybe someday, maybe someday we'll start the uh, naked sheep yarn swap again. Can I say that on here? I don't know. We'll find out. I can't type it. Okay. Remember we learned that we, could, we couldn't type it on here because yeah. it has that word in it, but yes, maybe someday again. <laughs> maybe we'll call it something different. Just yeah. so post it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, guys. We love you guys and make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and 